Greetings, glorious and radiant beings. Today is Thursday, October 14th. My name is Zephyr. I'm a licensed massage therapist and bodywork professional, Reiki master teacher, shamanic practitioner, sound healer, and psychic intuitive. I am here to share messages for you for today that Spirit has uh, to share with you. These messages are also good for whenever you, whenever you receive them. We will start how we normally start out by clearing the space. Allow your eyes to rest for just a moment. Connect with your breath. Send it to the tip of your tailbone and allow it to extend beyond your physical body into the earth below you. Connect with the vibration of Mother Earth. Invite it into your base chakra and allow it to sit there, keeping you grounded throughout the whole day and for as long as you need. Angel spirits, guides, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the messages that you've shared. Thank you for all of the messages that are on their way. I truly appreciate it. What is it that the collective needs to know for today? What messages do you have to share? Thank you, angel spirits, guides. Omen. Oops, not half of the deck. Thanks, guys. Kind of cheeky today, huh? All right, angel spirits, guys, what messages do you have to share? What do we need to know about these omens? It's all good, all right. Changes. Ooh, there we go. Integration. What else? One more. Abundance. Again, in the same spot as yesterday. All right. So, the overall message for today is omens or signs. Uh, but let's see. I just want to take a, a peek at, at this integration card and this abundance card. So, the abundance card came out yesterday in the same position. Uh, the uh, integration card has been coming out a lot for you guys um, and uh, to go with that we've got changes and it's all good um, when I sit with this reading or when I sit with these messages uh, that are coming out in the cards it's that maybe some of you have been seeing things or noticing things around you and uh, like mm, certain animals keep showing up or you're seeing repeating numbers uh, or just similar messages just keep popping up. Um, take a look because uh, take a look at that and and ask yourself. You know, maybe when you're when you're seeing these things that are repeating and coming up, uh, you know, what is it that's on your mind? What are the things that are going through your head? Uh, you know, this is a, this is a confirmation from the universe. Um, this could also be that uh, you need to start paying attention um, to what is going on. You know, these, these, even though they, maybe some of these messages might be a little bit, uh, scary, uh, it's all, it's all good. It's all how it's supposed to happen. This is spirit bringing into alignment for you right now, you, uh, with your higher self. Um, you know, and for some of you, there's definitely, uh, uh some positive changes that are coming through <clears throat> with these signs. Um, spirit is helping to guide you in the direction um, that you that your higher self wants you to, to go through. Uh, all right, so let's see. Let's see if we can bring some clarification f into this quadrant right here for it's all good and changes. So angel spirits guides, what messages? There we go. Work your magic. Yeah. So uh, for some of you. Um, you might be called to work with sacred geometry or you might be noticing uh, some, some sacred ge geometrical symbols, uh, platonic solids. Uh, there's lots of information that's out there. Um, but you are definitely in a place where you are becoming more aware of when you say things out or when you speak things out, you see them happen and maybe this is happening <clears throat> in a very quick manner. Um, so, you know, 
that's that's a positive change that's happening for you. Um, and uh, for others of you, you you might be really uh, let's see, what is it that you guys want to share? You want to share with me that in working your magic, you might also be thinking things and then they're coming true as well. Um, you know, that's okay. Uh, just make sure that, you know, what it is that you are thinking about and what intentions you are putting out are, are ones that are beneficial for everyone and not just self-serving, uh, um, not just self-serving thoughts because our thoughts become reality. Um, you are a very powerful being. Uh, and, and so whatever intentions you put out there, you know, that's, that's coming through, um, the changes card is a uh, card number 29 and uh, two plus nine is 11 and 11 is a master number. Um, and then we've got uh, it's all good is the uh, card number 18. And uh, that is a, that is a nine uh, in numerology. So this is a, a the, one of the highest numbers before it becomes 10, which 10 turns to one. So this is a really powerful magic, uh, or excuse me, yes, very powerful magic uh, that's coming through for you. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so how about in the integration and changes? What is it that we need to know, or conscious needs to know? Flow of prosperity. Ah, oh, I think that was in that position. Uh, recently as well. So the changes that are coming for coming through for you are pretty plentiful. Um, you know, you might notice changes in your work life. Uh, you might be transitioning from one job to the next. You might uh, have some pretty big changes uh, within your spiritual realm. You might have some pretty big changes within your home life or within your relationships. Um, you know, in spirits, uh, asking you to, to look for the signs and synchronicities uh, that are coming through with that. Uh, and it's all about moving you more into alignment. So have faith and trust that whatever changes are happening, it's, it's being divinely guided. Look for the signs and symbols uh, that are there. Perhaps, uh, this just came to me, perhaps you are now going to be working with a new spirit animal or spirit guide um you know take a look at that and see see what that has to say but spirit is definitely bringing you into alignment and it's it's happening in a plentiful way um so have faith and trust that you are being divinely guided uh and uh, welcome that in all right so let's see let's clarify the abundance and integration quadrant angel spirits guides what is it that you have to share there we go come out of the closet all right so many of you are receiving this uh these these guides this intuition and are noticing lots of changes um there's overall been this really powerful energy of people's intuitive abilities and psychic abilities that are coming online and with this energy that's that's you know the integration and abundance energy um, you're being asked to come out uh, of your shell and to begin to share that forward um, definitely there are there are others out there that want to hear your story or they might even be going through uh, the same same or similar uh, things as you so sharing your story is going to be helpful for them uh, and it'll also help you to build connection with others um, I know some some of you out there uh, might be saying well I'm the only person in in my in my group that you know can communicate with animals or you know I feel really weird or I don't have anybody that I can talk to you're being asked to come out uh, because there are people that are out there that will share that with you. Um, so no, you are not crazy. Uh, you know, share your words out there. Um, you know, because because people need to hear what it is that you have to share. All right. So what do we've got with abundance 
and it's all good. Can we get some clarifiers with that energy? Yoga. And this guy wanted to jump out too. So, with these changes that are happening and coming into your present moment, uh, it can be a lot, you know, maybe bringing, you know, all of these signs and synchronicities that are, that are coming in and, and helping you to, to move forward uh, can cause the energy, can cause your energy to kind of get a little bit frayed. And yoga helps to bring everything back into alignment. It helps to create unity within our physical body, uh, within our emotional body, within our mental body, within our spiritual body. It brings it all together. Um, and definitely spending some time and journaling about that, uh, writing about it, you know, making letters to yourself um, to write about your experiences. That will help the energy to continue to move and come through and move forward. Let's see. Also, you might be having some stuff. I'm, I'm getting the message that there might be some some energy coming through uh, in the form of dreams. Uh, with, you know, when you're asleep, uh, you might be noticing uh, some reoccurring dreams. Uh, definitely write those down and look for any of the similarities within them. And maybe you're just having a lot of really random dreams, um, but there's, there's definitely something in there. There's some messages that are in there that are definitely showing you signs. Thank you, angel spirits, guides. Let's see. Angel spirits, guides, what message? What do we need to know about? moving forward energy through the omens. There we go. The High Lord of Gratitude and Service. Selfless humility, conscious action. Yeah, so Spirit is bringing this all into, all into alignment for your highest good. For some of you, you're being asked to really just take the, the, the approach of humbleness and to act selflessly um, and to be very aware of what it is that you're doing. Perhaps some of you have, uh, you know, not been operating for the highest good and the greatest joy uh, for those around you. Uh, and you're being asked to sit with that and to make your actions a bit more conscious and more selfless. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. That was the only message from that that deck. These these guys, the, the spirit guides said, hey, pick this deck up and you know grab a card. So for whoever it was that needed to hear that message, you know, take a look at your, your actions and uh, make an adjustment to them and and try to act more selflessly. Uh, spirits spirits giving you that nudge. All right, angel spirits, guides, thank you for the messages that you've shared. We're gonna turn to the sacred rebels and see what they have to share. Angel spirits, guides, what do what do the, the lovely beings out there need to know about this energy of, of omens and integrating it all into their into their life? Got jumpers, all right. Two hands. There we go. What do you feel? Trust yourself. And softly, softly, the tender touch. Yeah, oh yeah, check out this card. So beautiful. Look at all the animals in there. So definitely, for some of you, animals are coming into your life. Uh, and they're there to, to, to show you omens. So um, it might be 
might be a good time for you to take a look and see what uh, spirit animals have to say. There's lots of stuff online, there's plenty of books. Um, so for some of you, animals are, are speaking to you very loudly. Um, and in addition, you know, trust that the messages or the, the signs and synchronicities that are coming to you are really, they're really about your highest self. They're, they're your, your spirit guides are coming to you. So, so trust that. And then we've got, what do you feel? Um, you know, when these omens, when these things are happening, when this integration period is going on, you know, what is it that you feel? Perhaps it seems like you are, you know, you've got a lot of things going on uh, and, you know, are juggling many, many things. Um, but what is it that you're feeling when all of this is coming up? You know, earlier I, I shared about, you know, what is it that what is the message that is coming through or what are you thinking about you know when you're getting these omens uh you know that's that spirit kind of giving you that nudge and saying hey, hey pay attention to this and then softly softly the tender touch you know this is a card for me that definitely when we speak things out um, we can do so in a very gentle manner but it's also a lot of power with this um, this 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 being right here this beautiful being she's activated you know her crown chakra is open it's flowing uh her third eye is going you know and she's speaking out into the world some really powerful energy but she's doing it very softly you know so the the things that we talk about we bring about so be be in alignment with what with what it is that you're speaking about and thinking about and the actions that you're taking. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, for the messages that you've shared. Let's pull some final thoughts, final messages, final little reminders. Angel Spirits Guides, what do you got to share? All right, reflection. See all aspects of yourself through the reflections of the one who mirrors your hidden self. I'm gonna read that one again. See all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self. So there might be some, some folks out there that uh, are having people in their life that are, that are causing them to have some pretty big uh, reflections, reactions. Um, you know, if, if there are people in your life that are causing big reactions for you, Take a moment and just kind of look at what that is and ask yourself, where does that come from? You know, because there's very, very likely something that is inside of you that is being triggered by them, which is really just a true reflection of your own self. So, you know, there might be something there to, to dig into uh, and to, to check out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What other messages do we got? Abundance. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance open naturally. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, we've got the abundance card here again, and we've got the flow of prosperity coming through as well. So definitely when, when your heart is to help people, you're going to be taken care of, guys and gals and gender non-binary beings out there. Um, you know, there's there's... When, when your heart is, is ready to receive love and to share love and to give love, trust that the universe is going to provide for you. All right. Angel Spirits Guides, thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages that you've shared. What else do we got? All right, let's get one more. Woo! Not all of you guys can flip all over. All right, well, I guess... That is what spirit has, because three jumped out before, three jumped out again, so apparently that's the message. Take it in threes. All right, so we've got love. Live your truth and share the love that's in your soul. Dreams. The universe speaks to you through your dreams. Yeah, we talked about that, so that's confirmation there. Meditation, take a moment to connect to source through quiet, reflective meditation. Beautiful, yes. I'm a big fan of quieting the mind uh, to find balance within 
the self. That's also, you know, one of the messages of yoga. We got to quiet our mind so that we can really receive. Many times, uh, you know, we ask for, for something, we pray for something, and we don't often quiet our mind enough to actually hear the message that comes through. So uh, definitely, you know, whatever intentions you set out there, whatever prayers, wishes, gratitudes you, you pray about, uh, quiet your mind to see that, you know, that's going to come in and wait for the message. Have some patience. Oh my gosh, that's the car that just came out. How funny is that? Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. Beautiful beings. Those are the messages for today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening and checking out uh, the, the messages. I truly appreciate all of the likes, shares, comments, beautiful beings. May you be blessed with abundance, joy, light, and prosperity in all of your days until tomorrow or the next time I connect with you. Sending you lots of love and light.